Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with a bit of a surprise. I will say I wasn't expecting to have these in my hands today, but earlier today I did post in the community tab, Bossman actually brought over eight boxes of 2022 Star Wars Signature Series over from the shop. There's still a couple in there, he said, but did give me eight to go ahead and put on the website and we're all sold out again. So we do have three boxes here for Matt S, two coming up next are Fails Tales, and then a couple for tomorrow night's live stream as well. But I'm excited to go ahead and get back on into this product. I honestly didn't expect to be opening up any more signature series this year at all. So very cool that I'm able to check some out today pretty quickly after they were on the site did we sell out. So you guys are still excited for signature series. So that's really nice to hear. Also, in terms of Star Wars product updates, Bounty Hunters was showing 3.30 is now pushed, I think, to 4.27, but Masterwork is still on the calendar for 3.30. We might actually get Masterwork this month if Tops didn't move it and they moved other stuff. I'm still not confident. I'm still not confident, but I could see it. I could see it. So maybe we'll have Masterwork at the end of the month. That would be a lot of fun. But yes, three boxes here for Matt. Matt was actually the first person we had personal breaks of Signature Series for. It did find actually one of our nicest pulls out of the entire product. We had a black variation of Soka autograph, Ashley Eckstein, number to five. So let's see if we can have some more luck here for Matt by getting on into these three boxes. Let's go here. Bye. Snap put us into the corner. That snap was a bit weak. My wrists have been killing me. I mean, I know that it doesn't take blame off of the weak actual snap part but i'll pretend that that affects things anyways though back to the product if this is your first time checking out signature series there's just one encased autograph card per box and that is it so let's go ahead and get started here and i do have a lot of stuff to knock over and then i do have our oversized team bags ready to go just so that uh, no more further scratching if there is any or if it's nice and pristine that no scratching occurs i do like getting the encased autograph sleeve done up right away like I said, just keep the plastic nice and scratch-free as much as possible. But all right, box one here for Matt. Doo, doo, doo. Hey, that's cool. We do have Stephen Bloom here as Zeb Aurelios. Now, that name might sound familiar to you. Stephen Bloom does a lot of voice work. Wolverine, you all may know that one pretty well. Then also, a lot of other characters, including Vincent Valentine from Final Fantasy VII. But Stephen Bloom here as Zeb from Star Wars Rebels. No, not everyone is crazy about the art style, but I, I really love the storyline in Rebels. And I, I didn't mind the art style at all. Some characters do look a little odd, like Yoda. You guys have probably seen a really, honestly, busted-looking Yoda. That's probably from Rebels. But overall, I, I really love the show, and I definitely recommend it. Anyone that's thinking about checking it out, totally recommend Star Wars Rebels. So base autograph Zeb here. We've seen Zeb variation autos, but I don't think we've actually seen a regular Zeb. So we're still seeing some new... I mean, so we've seen that name out of the set, but we're still seeing some new character designs out of this product. And we've opened up a lot, so that's actually quite impressive. All right, box two here for Matt. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Hey, we do have a variation autograph. Omnibata, he has Dr. Pershing. Now, I remember when we first started off the variations, I wasn't into them, but I will say now I'm officially into them. I just love how it has a really cool imagery on it, like everything going on in the background there, just a straight up cool focal screenshots uh, featuring Dr. Pershing here. I think that looks really neat. So Omen of Tai, he has Dr. Pershing variation base autograph. For math, that was number two. And all right, what are we gonna find in box three? Are we gonna find something numbered? Is it all gonna be base autos here for Matt? Only one way to find out, that's by jumping on into it. Certainly not snapping on into it, because I already snapped and that didn't go so well. Plus, we're already we're already snapped in. There's no reason to snap again. Alright, third and final box here for Matt. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Hey, that's nice here. Blue variation autograph. Taika Waititi has IG-11. 27 of 50. I still need a Taika autograph from Star Wars. I do have one from Thor Ragnarok, but his signature has just changed so much since that release. It doesn't even look the same. It doesn't even look the same. I need a nice IG-11, which means I also need to compete with Boss Man for IG-11 autographs and Greg, the Mando King, so. I know two people that are very into IG-11. <sighs> One day I'll find a nice on-card Taika Waititi autograph, but I like this image too. He's just standing there, so cool. 27 of 50, like I said, really nice pull here. Another nice variation for Matt's collection. 
27 to 50, Taka Watiti as IG11, which is getting me even more excited. When are we going to see a trailer for Thor 4? He is the director. We'll see how that goes. I just want more Korg. I love Korg so much. That is that is what the Ragnarok autograph is. Taika Waititi did the mocap for Korg and, and IG-11, but I love my Korg autograph. I just, I want, I want more. As I'm sure you fellow cardboard addicts, I mean enthusiasts, uh, would agree. You need more shiny cardboard. But anyways, speaking of shiny cardboard, let's get into our recap here. Taking another peek at Matt's new autographs. 27 to 50, Taika. And we have Variation Base on Abtahi as Dr. Pershing. And we started things off here with Zeb, and we're ending off our recap with him here as well. Stephen Bloom as Zeb Aurelios. And I believe Zeb will be attending Megacon. So I'm hoping to go to Megacon because I do have a piece with uh, Agent Callus' voice actor, David Oyelowo, uh, to sign. It's them together. I want them. I've been waiting for Zeb to come back to a convention. Is he in the before times, uh, would come to the Tampa Bay Anime Convention a lot. So I've been waiting for him to come back. He'll be in Orlando, so I want to go to that. So hopefully that'll be fun. Maybe make a week out of it. A lot of cool, a lot of cool guests. Esposito, bo -Katan. what's her name? Oh my goodness. I'm so bad. Katie Sackhoff will be there. Lots of really cool guests at Megacon. So are you guys going to Megacon Orlando in May? Let me know down below. I might be there. And by my, I'm saying I'm just waiting on a rescheduled concert date uh, to confirm that it's not the same week. That's what I'm waiting on. Otherwise, I would like to go. That'd be a lot of fun. So let me know if you guys are attending MegaCon 2022 down below. Anyways, but that does it here for these, these boxes for Matt. Thank you so much, Matt, for letting me open up more Star Wars for you here. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. All of you out there watching, of course, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. I already said comments for me and let me know you're going to MegaCon, thinking about it, have no idea what it is, any of that. Leave that down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love to have you join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here and into our final opening, two more boxes of Signature Series. I still can't believe well, it was Monday, right? Monday or Tuesday. I was like, guys, we're sold out forever. Not even, not even a week. Not even a week later, but they're gone now. Gone for good. Because uh, restock list prices on Signature Series is more than we're charging by a good amount. So that's probably, the dream is probably dead. Only chance if no one buys the ones in store, I'll probably kidnap them at some point for the site. But anyways, before I get on into that next opening, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 13 Black Label fans. Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Soltari, Mark Mordini, Mike Clotis, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Barco Verr, Dusty Archuleta, J.H. Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinef Zen, and William Hastings. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. So... With that, that finishes up two of our three non-sports openings tonight. Can't wait to see what's in those other two boxes up next for Fails Tales. So thank you so much for watching this one, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you all in the next video. Bye!